Hello, I'm Todor Polachko from Bulgaria and in today's lessons uh, about tube and pipe design without desk inventor we will create a rigid pipe uh, first we will create two parts that we will connect in the future with a rigid pipe uh, they are very simple, it will take us around uh, 5 minutes to create them I just call it element 3 it doesn't matter at all what are uh, their names and I will start uh, creating them first I will uh, use the sketch command to create a, uh, a one sketch, very simple sketch here on this part of the uh, my design uh, if you don't want, first I have to project some uh, few uh, geometries and uh, I will create a rectangle around these geometries. Let me just uh, project another uh, few uh, lines. Something here. The dimensions are uh, 300 and uh, 200 millimeters, like this. Okay. I have to position it correctly, so I will just use the dimension command. From here to here is, let me see, 126. So I will create a dimension between the center of one of the circle in here and I will not calculate it, I will leave it inventor to calculate it calculate it uh, 200 minus 126 divided by 2 it's 37 alright, I will extrude this, let's say 20 millimeters and I will uh, finish my part by creating an additional extrusion here just select this one if you don't want to uh, I will uh, let me just alright just uh, to project a few more uh, lines something like this alright I will extrude it very simple part I need this part for uh, because I will connect it with another one you see how alright something here if you don't want to uh, reposition your view uh, when you create a sketch go to options application options and go to uh, the sketch tab and deselect the look at project plane uh, while uh, the sketch is created and then your vision is not moved moved so I prefer that method so just one um, circle here with 40 millimeters for diame diameter uh, and it is um, let's say 70 millimeters from the upper edge it doesn't really matter okay I will extrude it of course I could use the uh, cylinder command which is available in out to uh, from out to desk inventor 2013 I think but it doesn't really matter right now okay I will create a hole in it remember the diameter of this hole which will be 20 millimeters remember it because later we when we create the rigid type uh, the rigid pipe <coughs> the diameter of this rigid pipe will be 25 I'm sorry will be 25 mi millimeters which is important uh, because uh, after that we will um, the, the standard uh, we will create it will use this kind of diameter alright so that's the part I finished it I 
remove the visibility of some of the part of some of the unnecessary um, working planes all right and the thing I will do I'll just mirror mirror this part the the one I have just selected uh, I will call it uh, let's say uh, element 4 or whatever you want uh, let's make it clear that the thing I will do right now the construction or the model I will do it doesn't make really sense uh, the idea is to show you how to create rigid type of course uh, uh, because as you see there the the parts are very simple so they are not uh, uh, any type of um, real machine or uh, some aggregate or whatever you want all right so I will um, position the second part somewhere uh, somewhere here to I will placed it okay and maybe the last thing I will correctly position it here something like this as I told you I will create a rigid pipe between them it's not uh, uh, a real life uh, design it's just for uh, our lessons so I save the assembly save it often because uh, everything happens as you know uh, I will create a pipe run first I entered in uh, the uh, pipe and runs I have created previous I will name it somehow I name it in Bulgarian but of course you can use uh, another language let's say rigid pipes that that's what it means in Bulgarian I think I had just uh, right I will create a new road let's say mm, down rigid pipes or something like this uh, the name here it will be shown in the mm, uh, view of materials after that so uh, be careful or, uh, be smart let's say all right first I will create a rigid type rigid pipes or rigid pipe standard just go here to tube and pipe styles and uh, press the new button I will name it somehow let's say I, I named I named it in Bulgarian it means standard one of course you can name it uh, uh, something else uh, you can uh, uh, this uh, standard can be butt welded or flanged or uh, the other uh, self draining I will just uh, leave it uh, the way it is so uh, remember the um, I will use some type of uh, tube first I will I have to select uh, three things here first is the type of uh, the type of the tube of course I'm uh, I'm using uh, the um, European style so it's in millimeters I just select uh, one type of uh, tube it's DIN 2458 with diameter 25 you remembered it when I create the holes it 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 uh, diameter was 25 so I definitely must use the same uh, diameter uh, next I will uh, choose uh, elbow a 90 degrees elbow and of course I can use I can choose a coupling or the uh, 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 45 degrees elbow now the segment length let's uh, put it right now 50 millimeters for minimum maximum let must be, let be 1000 millimeters and the increment uh, let's say uh, 200 uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, two I'm sorry so I have to activate it the standard because that uh, I just created but it's not active so you can see in the uh, the manage parts there is the standard one or the thing that you've just created let's create a road from here to here right now uh, like this okay I press okay then the green uh, square 
uh, don't uh, look right now for the, the for the uh, that the, our tube is uh, intersecting the frame right now the most important thing is to uh, have the similar let's say uh, formation of our rigid pipe and then use the move segment command and move for the um, the tube you want you can add nodes let's just delete that for a moment and uh, change something in our standard rules let's change the maximum length of our tube to 200 millimeters that means that right now we have uh, we will um, uh, let's say create a different type of uh, tube because uh, uh, the maximum length of every one of our parts is maximum 200 millimeters so that is the maximum and the minimum let's say that you have uh, in your vault, uh, the company vault, this type of um, uh, tubes, and uh, that's why you you have to create some kind of um, trace with this uh, with these uh, tubes. So that's why you must change uh, the minimum or the maximum. All right, I return to the original uh, to the original type of uh, my um, construction of the tubes. They were uh, with the minimum of uh, 50 and the maximum for 1000 that's enough you can always add insert a node if you want to add additional tube or something let's say a valve or a T somewhere just add a, an additional uh, uh, node and of course after you add an additional node you can dimension its, uh, its uh, position then as in the third part of our lesson just press the populate okay the next thing we will do is place a valve on our pipe go to tube and pipe fittings valves and select let's say um, Parker female valve it doesn't really matter uh, let's say the diameter is one millimeter uh, one inch which uh, means that is around 25 millimeters okay and just place it somewhere on the pipe you can uh, uh, orient your um, uh, your uh, valve if you finish the orient or, uh, orientation you can always right click on it and create change the fitting orientation and as you can see it's not just uh, inventor not just put the valve on this uh, pipe it also cuts the pipe if you want to change a part you just select the re start the replace command select the item you want to change and select the another one let's say that we want to change this elbow to a T so we will go again in the tube and pipe fittings go to T's and select a T that is of course uh, from the same standard 25 millimeters alright it's enough that's exactly the the one that we want to use and as you can see it's it's very very easy so that's for our fourth lesson about tube and pipe in inventor 2014 uh, in the next lesson, the last lesson, we will create the bill of materials. You you will see some uh, tricks, tips and tricks in it, and uh, that will conclude our lessons about uh, this module in Inventor.